Hey everybody, Asher here with FTL Captain's Edition. That's right, you all requested it. And after taking a little bit of a break after a few brutal beatdowns on hard, we are going to be jumping into Captain's Edition today. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, it is a total conversion mod for FTL Faster Than Light. Adds all kinds of new things, new events, just a lot of new stuff. And the best way to really go into it is just to play it because this is going to play a very, it, it plays pretty differently, I would say from a general FTL run. So hopefully this will be a breath of fresh air that some of y'all are requesting, or at least an interesting challenge that some of y'all want to see. Now since this is my first time with Captain's Edition, we are going to be playing normal instead of hard. But for those of you, you may be already seeing some things that are different if you're unfamiliar, like crew portraits, like different kinds of weapons, dual laser 2, par or Per or per per eaten. Ew, I cannot pronounce that today. Well, we're going to be doing what we have been doing before because unfortunately, some of my old data is still here. My old high scores are still here. My old unlocks are still here. I did not do any kind of modding that would uh, unlock everything. Although I'm debating it. It's up to you all. I have unlocked all the sh A and B type ships before. Not all the Type C because they weren't there. But let's just go ahead. We're going to do a random ship based on the let's do four clicks of this one two three four all right the, uh, you know we just did a taurus run one two three four all right stealth b this is going to be interesting i was looking at the layouts for this before and this is a ship that i did really want to try so we're going to be calling this uh the maiden ce for the maiden captain's edition voyage here now what is the usual deal with the stealth b what we like about it is that it has a massive firepower amount and it has good cloaking. But there's some things that are different in Captain's Edition. You can see right away. First of all, the uh, Glaive Beam is now called the Naginata, which there are all kinds of different weapons throughout this game. Advanced Beam Weapon that can cut ships right in half. It's still your uh, damage per room of two instead of three. Notice some of the balance changes here. Charge time of 22, required power four. And then we have the Ifrit which is brilliant design high-tech missile launcher that fires four projectiles for the cost of one. It's called missiles can only be shot down by the most advanced computers. It is shield piercing. Notice that the uh, Nagata is not shield piercing. So we do have shots per charge for normal damage one per missile. So maybe missiles are going to be more of a thing in Captain's Edition. We can only hope. Also, Advanced Navigation AI allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon to help avoid damage in critical situations, enable faster type of space travel, and mapping computer controls mapping drones that can scout the entire sector. Requires an empty beacon and additional drone parts. So we're going to hit start. And you're going to see that there's some new stuff right away here. We have the data you carry is vital, tip breaking uh, ceasefire agreements and all that is different. But you prepare to jump the ship for FTL. We can socialize with our crew while the FTL charges. We can consider some upgrades to your custom ship's equipment. We can send out mapping drones to gather detailed data on the sector. Or we can continue. I think we're going to have some ample opportunity to map out the sector before. So let's socialize with our crew here. You walk around the ship and see who you can find. The humanoid crew have a word with them or resulting crew have a word with them. So let's talk to the humanoid crew member and uh, thinks love is really complicated. So there we go. And we're going to have a lot of little events like this. You can see there's all kinds of new graphical tweaks and everything. If we hit an empty beacon, I'm totally going to be sending three drone parts eventually. But keep in mind, we only have three drone parts right now. So here's an encounter right away. Remember, we're on normal difficulty instead of hard. So I should have readjusted some of this stuff before, but... Let's see here. The enemy seems to be equipped with a combat augment. Strong radiation has beamed your ship. Your opponent is using dirty weapons. Now we're going to offer surrender. Let's go ahead and continue here. Because why not? We have we have no air. So that's fun. Now I can cloak out of some of this. The one big, the one huge problem that we are going to have going forward is that this is a freaking Zoltan shield right away. So here's the nine got to... It, this, it will be able to do damage. I'm going to have to cloak out of the uh, first flak cannon as it comes by. That looks like a mini flak, a tiny flak. Still going to do three shots. So our engines are hit. We won't have a 100% dodge from the flak here. And I could be using the Ifrit. Ooh. That was a little tough. Especially since, what was that? My Okay, 80% evade. My weapons still get ioned. And now I have to totally recharge. FTL! We have no air. I may have to just run from this encounter at this point. So what's here? My ion weapons are currently no good. My oxygen is now hurting just a little bit. 
So we're going to have to repair that in just a moment. I'm probably going to have to jump away from this fight. Why am I not firing the beam? Yeah, we're, we're just going to have to jump away. So Zoltan Shield ship for our very first inauspicious run. Not what we like to see as our oxygen is uh, fading very quickly. Note that it says life support, not just oxygen. But you arrive at the location of the distress call. Small cargo beam hails, or ship hails you. Shiny, glad you're not another pirate. We were ambushed by some outlaws and have shields. Power cam couplers were damaged beyond repair. We have energy, but we can't get the shield stabilized properly. So we can offer to escort to the home port. Ignore. This is almost too easy. Seize the cargo to the Zoltan crew. Have your Zoltan energize the shields. Now these are not, the blue options are not always positive in Captain's Edition. So let's see what this does. You dock with the ship and your Zoltan calmly walks to the shield room and being does not touch anything and just concentrates for a few seconds. Hey, if only that was easy, if that was easy on our ship. Power levels increase and the shield bubbles come up strong and we get a raw asteroid ore. The crew and cargo ship seem a little embarrassed. Sorry, but we don't have any scrap to spare. We're going to use rocks and dirt or sell great rebel territory. Maybe you can make a good deal there. So we are not going to suffocate. Right. Right. There we go. So pretty, pretty good start, I guess, except that we need to actually power this. So let's see. Here's the distress beacon, and we have the exit up here. I guess we'll be going this way. So yeah, Captain's Edition, lots of lots of new things. We'll see if maybe I can get the Ifrit to do its thing here in just a moment. So we have a Rebel Scout that's ready to attack. Weapons are charged, but they're not firing it. Let's intervene to defend. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the Rebel fleet. Yeah, that's that's right, buddy. Okay, instead of our massive drone swarm from before, let's go ahead and try firing the missiles. Because that's what we came to do. Fortunately, they have no attack drones here. That's always my fear with this layout of the ship. And you can see, actually, look at this. There is a completely different layout on the ship compared to what you might have seen here before. That's another nice thing about Captain's Edition is that it gives you lots of new things to play with. So these missiles will fire while cloaked. And I should have targeted the weapons room. Five missiles. One, two, three, four, and... Sunning is good as well. Had a little message down here. Kind of missed what it was. But you see, here's the other thing is that I don't have I don't have a lot of missiles either, so I've really got to watch it. We do have a repair drone though available. Or they do. So it looks like we're just gonna have to hope that we do well if we hit the shield room first, we might be able to actually out damage the ship. So I guess better to cloak. Look at that little weapon that still hit the weapons room because I was not paying attention. It didn't cloak in time. Okay, well. I guess that's the thing that we just got to work on and not make these kind of mistakes here. So we have Mars already hurting just a little bit. We got to get our weapons fire ready to go again. As that is a new weapon that we are unfamiliar with. And you can see things explode just a little bit. So once again, we have all kinds of problems. Repair the oxygen first, please. Our cloaking is damaged. Our oxygen's damaged. Their ship is damaged all to hell, but not completely out of the woods. So, this is a Stealth B typical run here. We are getting obliterated right now. Just absolutely wrecked. But I might be able to take this guy out, and then we can work on the recovery just a little bit here. So, one more blast. There we go. So 17 scrap, and then the Pompous Bastard expected free service, and they didn't get it, so we blew them up. Now, like I said, this is a total conversion mod, but that doesn't necessarily mean that everything is new, if that makes any sense. There's still old text options, and for the old ones, we've seen a lot of them before, so we're not really going to sit and belabor them again and again. But once again, we do have our life support backup, which is nice. So let's go and get everybody back in battle stations. Should have one extra power for this. We have 41 scrap. Still sector one. I, I feel like I should be doing better, but it is the stealth A, and it's not always easy. So we got another one here. When the rebellion's complete, you'll see a safer world we provide. For now, let's kill you. Okay, so the good news is that their shields and their weapons are on completely other sides. Complete other sides of the ship. So let's start by getting as much system damage as I can. I'd love to fire missiles all the time, but that doesn't seem to be a good track record. Fortunately, these weapons are going to be synchronized and there's no combat drones. So I should be able to just micromanage cloak. Good. All right. 
decent start. Now the stealth A, because of these big weapons, are actually something that you can kind of do no pause and be a little bit better with. That's not what I'm trying to do here though. So we got lots of repairs going on. We're going to have to survive two more shots. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get some more dodging happening. No. Fortunately, they're just hitting my door control again and again, so... I should be able to kill them before the next shots go. Or I should be able to cloak out the next shots anyway. Alright, cloak on. They're trying to get away. They won't. Could have micromanaged there better, but didn't. 17 scrap. We're okay. Okay, just quick door repair. Still cloaked, so there's yet another distress beacon. Probably a trap. We're at trap o'clock in this game. I am saving my scrap again just because I want to see what the store has, and there's so much different equipment. There's so many different events here. I'm not entirely sh certain what I should be saving or not saving my scrap for. So they are, the distress beacon's here to lure a trap. What did I say? You're prepared for a fight. And look at that burst laser. It looks like a burst laser, too. We'll see if it is, in fact, a burst laser, too. Hopefully it's something that I can dodge. Maybe I should use the Efrit missile launcher here for this because it goes a little faster. We do have... Okay, that doesn't look like your typical burst laser. We'll probably go ahead and cloak out of the synchronized shots now. If anything, that should give us one shot to get off. Now, fortunately, this is an old layout, so... We should be able to get some damage here and get all this stuff going. Unfortunately, these rebels do have an NG working with them. That's not very rebel of them. Wow. I will take that surrender offer. Thank you very much. And you open the airlocks and the reparation supplies for your opponent is glad to be alive. Honor your truce and let the enemy live or open fire at the defeated opponent. Let's honor your truce. I guess I could open fire and just get them further. I mean, they are rebel scum, but... Maybe it could come back to haunt me later on, or my crew will get mad at me, which is also something that happens in Captain's Edition. So, a massive space station is orbiting nearby moon. And let's go ahead and attempt to salvage what you can, and we get Asteria missiles. Now, what are Asteria missiles? Well, I'll tell you. One power, five second charge time. Weak but fast reloading consumes ammo quickly, and I don't have ammo to spare. We also have raw asteroid ore, which... Metals are fine. Asteroid oils are needed to manufacture all kinds of components. Basic trade goods. So we shall overcome, I guess. There is yet another distress beacon. I guess I could play in the nebula here in just a little bit. All right, so you discover a distress at order range in a nearby system. A civilian vessel passed too close to the local sun. The engines or shields are damaged by the solar flare, and now they're in danger of drifting into the star. Let's rescue the crew and two damage to your hull. Another massive solar player. Blast your ship right as you're about to complete the document. Or a civilian vessel is torn away from your ship. You're like it's ripped into the process. You realize that there's no way to save them now. Thanks, RNG. Nice try, Captain. We appreciate it. My crew and I come from a nearby colony. Please tell our loved ones what happened here. Now save yourselves. They transmit the black box data and cut communications. Try to focus on getting your ship out of here. So multiple hull damage. We are on fire. Oh, damn. We do not... The, the system that I do not want on fire right now is the doors. I mean, I don't like taking hull damage up here, but I can vent the fire out of this room once the doors are repaired. Hopefully. As long as our poor Zoltan here doesn't die. Alright, so doors going, going. We shouldn't have too much of a problem with the solar flare based on our engine strength. Alright. I think we're going to be okay. Just get everybody back in position, try and get that fire as put out as possible. Solar flare imminent, and there's our quest marker. So let's hit it. Hopefully they don't fire on us, say we killed their people. Alright, so grim news has been delivered here after hearing what happened to their relatives. Families of lost ship and crewmen are deeply struck with grief. They politely thank you for informing them and offer a small amount of supplies for your efforts. We are sure you did everything you could. Thank you. Well, at least we didn't shoot them in the sky and feel guilty about it, so fire out and then we just got to heal back up then we'll carry on so we have oh okay this is awkward two stores we really only have time for one we might really potentially have time for zero but I can definitely go to one so we can eeny meeny miny mo let's go to this one so what do we got 
Okay, you consider dealing with the trader. This might take some time by uh, shipment of consumer goods, by a haul of space rations, sell the raw asteroid for 30 scrap, buy an assortment of luxury goods. So we can flip some things around. I, do, I don't really have a lot of space in my cargo bay, so I gotta flip this. After receiving some scrap in the advance of your ass unload the cargo to get the rest of your payment, they took a really long... Oh, damn it. Okay, Fleet Pursuit double by one. And what else do we got? So we have an artillery laser, Mark II. This advanced laser charges slowly. It does dealt a lot of damage and pierces through one bubble of shields. That's awesome. For 100, it makes sense, but it's for required power. Anti-personnel drone, swarm missile drone, all very exciting. Drone shields, artillery weapon on your ship. Warning, installing artillery to interfere with your save. You have to finish the run in one go. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I mean, it's really awesome that they have that as a mod. But let's see here. Raw, okay, raw asteroid ore. I still have that. So I can try and sell it again. Do I really want... Okay, so we can jump to a pre previously visited beacon. And we should take more advantage of that. So right now... I gotta buy, obviously I gotta buy some repairs. And unfortunately because the fleet's pursuit is doubled, we are now screwed. Whereas before we might have only kind of been screwed, now we are actually legitimately screwed. So what do we do? We, uh, we don't have any shields. And I'm pretty sure if we go back to the store, we couldn't have afforded them anyway, unless we sell some of our actually good equipment. Let's go ahead and sell this. All right, so no shields yet, which means we really need to upgrade our engines. Not gonna up as fun as it would be to upgrade the cloak. We're not gonna upgrade the cloak. All right, so everyone's healing up just a little bit. Did you want to? Did you want to see the rebel fleet today? We're gonna see the rebel fleet today. And one more jump. That's too bad that we got overtaken in Sector 1, but random events are fun, aren't they? All right, so long range with the Rebel Fleet got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next area. Oh, look at that, a new ship. Your computer registers a threat at level 12. Enemy concentration nearby, a Rebel Cruiser flanked by two drone carriers lingering in the distance. You receive a hail. So Rebel primary unit putting the burst back into laser. You know that we easily outgun you, don't you? This will be nasty, and you ask for it. The cruiser moves into attack. Fleeing seems to be a suitable option. You're still taking out an enemy cruiser, which surely throw the rebel fleet into disarray. They have a beam drone. Okay, I don't care how much in disarray we could be here. We are just going to have to cloak and hope that we can get out of here in time. All right, so what is it going to be firing on? It's probably going to be firing on my doors or weapons. Oh, no. Okay, good. So what's going to be firing on now? Engines. We do not want our engines fired on, and these are all charging. Yeah, it has two shield bubbles. Maybe other ships could take this one on, but that's not what we're going to be doing here today. Like I said, just killing these guys, I assume, I assume it's going to be better than other potential options. Like just, okay, you get one fuel for any time you do that, but they're just going after our... Uh... Oh, good. We might actually be dead here at the very at the very start. All because we let the Rebel Fleet out-pursue us. But that's RNG... That's FTL. We've really got to get stuff repaired in a hurry. Our saving grace is that our cloaking hasn't been taken out yet. And we do have a little bit of evade, although, unfortunately, because of the lack of repairs, we do... We've not... We've only mostly lost our engines. And we're still taking hits. This is going to be really close. Could have done that better. Okay, we're dead. Well, hey! That's Captain's Edition Part 1. You, it's And I'll tell you, it's really hard to do this with, say, something like the Maiden CE here. As you can see, that was one of the worst runs that I've had for all the other runs that I've had with the Stealth Bee. So we're going to do this again, obviously. We're going to do this with a different ship. We'll, we'll do another random run here. But hopefully I won't get a ship that's as swingy as this. If I wasn't overtaken by the Rebel Fleet, maybe things could have been better. But that's it for now. This is Asher. More... Captain's Edition in the days to come. Hope you enjoy it. I will see you all next time.